Hello and welcome everybody to this uh, SolidWorks tutorial about how to simulate a glitch mechanism. Here is Energy Gun Mechatronic Engineer. So, the last time we finished the uh, receivable shaft part. In this tutorial we're gonna uh, finish the last part which is the effect uh, part. Uh, the uh, toothed wheel it's a gear so we go in new new part uh, sketch base plan and then we as usual we create uh, our circles I'm gonna draw a circle about uh, 70 millimeters diameter okay uh, and then we're gonna need to create the hexagon polygon yes uh, inside it must have the same size as the previous one in the uh, receiver shaft part so we draw a polygon uh, how to make it uh, straight so we take one uh, side and we click vertical uh, at the left panel okay and for dimensions we take start smart dimensions okay uh, about this dimension it's gonna be 3.5 okay Uh, then we're gonna draw another circle which will be near the first one it's about uh, let's say 65 diameter okay exit sketch and now we're gonna extrude extruded both base Okay, an extrusion about three. Yes. The first disc. Okay, then we go to the plus icon, we select the sketch, and we extrude again the outer circle. But this time it's gonna be um, thicker. Let's say about 11. That's good. Okay. Now we have uh, our cylinder. We need to draw uh, our tooth. So to make it uh, resemble a gear, a toothed wheel. Yes, uh, what's so particular about this? Uh, So, uh, what's so special about uh, this toothed wheel? It's uh, a crown gear, so the direction of the tooth is parallel to the axle. So, how are we gonna draw that? We select one plane, like top plane. We go in geometry, we're gonna create a parallel, plane which is parallel. Okay, let's say it's about uh, 36 distance. And here we can change the distance, okay. And then we're gonna draw on that plane. So basically, how can we draw a tooth from a gear? We're gonna use uh, simply circles. Because the tooth uh, of the gears is not uh, like a plane, so it's a little bit round uh, with round edge. So I draw the first circle, uh, it's like 15, 
diameter. And a uh, little bit far from the center. Okay. And then I'm going to draw a mirror uh, circle from this one, symmetric. Okay. And then we need to relate the center point like this. And the upper points like this. Okay. Now we need to remove the uh, uh, shapes that we do not need. The circle and these two segments. Okay. And then we exit sketch. If we go and uh, uh, do an extruded cut from this shape, uh, we obtain the space between two teeth. Uh, but we will not do an extrude cut. Why? So because uh, this gear, uh, the tooth are uh, parallel to the X. So as the radius is decreasing from this direction to this one, uh, the extrusion must also decrease. So how are we going to do that? We take the above plane, top plane, sketch and we're gonna draw a point simply a point which will be in this area let's uh, say about um, one one millimeter high from the uh, edge exit sketch so now we have two a sketch in two different planes. We're gonna do a lofted cut. Uh, this function will relate between the point and the shape we have already drawn. So as the radius is decreasing here, the uh, the cut is going to decrease. So uh, let's see that. Uh, we choose lofted cut the first box here, profile we choose our first sketch here then we choose the point that we have drawn already ok so this is gonna be uh, our lofted cut we click ok so we can see here the edges created by the cut are not parallel so we cannot do extruded cut here they must be uh, aligned with the radius so now we need to create the rest of the tooth we choose to hide the plane and then we go into a linear pattern the little arrow here circular pattern as the axle, we choose the cylindrical surface here. Okay, and features to pattern, we choose one of the surface created by the lofted cut. Here, okay, and then we need to increase the number of uh, instance. So we uh, must click here equal spacing. So all the tooth have equal distance. Uh, okay, and we increase the number of tooth, increase, increase, until we reach uh, like uh, 34 is okay, and we click OK. Then our gear is created. We can give it a little uh, fillet here, if you like, uh, but with the uh, less radius about 5 is ok good our gear is created here so uh, as a mm, real system 
the wheels and gears uh, and machines need to have their weight reduced so we're gonna create uh, like uh, circular cuts around the center to reduce weight and uh, it will give a, a nice shape to our wheel so we, we draw a circle here a radius a diameter about 12 is ok and you choose a distance of 70 ok and then we choose a circular sketch pattern and the little arrow here as a center point we must select the center of our wheel so no point created you need to go back and create a point here in the center because there is no uh, bodies here only void so we need the point not this one ok and then we go in circular pattern and we select the point that we have already created and then we choose to have uh, six repetitions mm, ok and then we choose ok and we exit sketch and uh, we're gonna do an extruded cut here okay that's good so another final detail maybe I'm gonna draw a sketch on this top surface you go normal and you're gonna draw a little circle in the center 5.5 and we need also to reproduce the uh, shape of the polygon here so how we're gonna uh, we're gonna draw that we're gonna select all the edges of the polygon control plus select okay and then we uh, go to convert entities and we click OK as our uh, converted uh, entities are already selected. OK. Then we have a sketch with the shape of the polygon. Exit sketch. And then we extrude uh, the shape about 4. That's good. OK. Our gear is created, maybe we we'll give it a color. Mm -hmm. Maybe a blue color. Not this. Oh, maybe this red. Okay. And then we save. I'm gonna call it. Uh, gear just gear okay